And today, folks, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I will be reviewing the movie that just came out this past weekend, Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery. Ooh, He's already working uh, on the third one. Yeah, I mean, they've been Brian pretty Johnson, successful, yeah. so I, I would imagine the, they're just going to milk it. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. Yeah, so without really giving spoilers or anything crazy, because Dan hasn't seen it, he wants to see it, I'm just going to give my general opinion of it and uh for me uh, i'm gonna give it two thumbs up i thought it was a, a fantastic watch if you were a fan of the first one you're definitely gonna like the second one i'll state that it uh it's a very fun watch the it has a pretty great cast um it has dave batista edward norton kate hudson katherine hahn and of course daniel craig uh daniel craig just killed it for me i i, I loved his accent he has this like down is, south like is he playing a comedic role in this or is it serious uh it's i, I mean the, the whole has the, comedic elements yeah the whole movie kind of has like a comedic feel like it's not meant to be super serious um but okay. um, the whole cast as a whole kind of makes you laugh it has there are funny parts mm-hmm. but i wouldn't yeah. say like daniel craig is like the highlight of the comedy it's kind of like okay. everybody working i was together. just curious to see yeah if he was doing that, I just love his like accent. Kind of, like a southern gentleman type thing. <laughs> yeah, mm. and I know he's like uh, not from there, so I give him credit because it was a fun watch and I, he's he British. pulled it off. Yeah, uh, it has a nice journey, and uh, of course, uh, true to the last one, it has its nice twist too that you know keep you guessing until the end, and I think that's the beauty of it. You know. I, I watch so many shows and movies that, like, even my girl's like, uh, what do you think is going to happen? And I'll call it, and it happens. <laughs> so it's it's always fun when there's a movie that, like, I can't figure out. And this this is one of them. It's a <clears> – it's <throat> a so – I got, I got the first one. So I was just like – I feel like that one's a little easy to predict, the Knives Out one. So I'm, yeah. I'm kind of, I hope this one's a little bit – I think it'll get you. It's a little, uh, okay. a little more of a challenge, a little – a lot of uh, kind of – distractions and little elements going around that kind of if you're not really really paying attention you might not get it but i didn't get it so i mean kudos to them so it was pretty awesome yeah and uh and then everything kind of ended in a cool fashion everything was cool and the glass onion itself which is this like amazing uh glass structure that this billionaire edward norton made so it's, it's actually pretty cool diving into that too uh I guess that's all I got to say for now. Um, every, the cast did well. Every, they all brought it together. They all brought life to it. Um, they, they're they pretty good actors. Batista, Edward Norton, Kate Hudson, Catherine Hahn from Step Brothers. They, uh, they really yeah, kind of yeah. dominate the screen, and they kinda, they all have their own little story. And then as you watch it, it reveals it and how it relates to the person that's died or the suspect or whatever, you know. Um, it's a... Uh, I highly recommend it, and uh, it just came out. If you have, if you like, like I said, if you're a fan of the first one, definitely check out the second one. They keep the ball running, and uh, it's on Netflix. Props mm-hmm. to Daniel Craig, uh, and yeah, it's on Netflix. So, I really uh, am happy for Batista. Like he's been parts of like a lot of great projects. I, I always hear great things about his acting, and he's been saying for years he's a great actor. Yeah, and I, I don't know. I'm just like really happy for him. I yeah. love that he didn't get typecasted. Like, oh, yes. he's just the, oh the brawny dude. And I think he, he fought actually for that. has like yeah. well, yeah. If you listen to the interviews depth, and stuff he's like, had, he's very big on that. It's he not just he like a strong about not being typecasted. Yeah, his characters aren't just like dumb meatheads that you would yeah. suspect. Like, oh, he's he's a bodybuilder, but no, they actually like they give the depth. They give him, and he and he actually has the acting capacity to actually display it, like execute it well. And like when you watch him on screen, it's not just this hulking dude he's actually a a star player like uh an actor like he'll he'll bring uh his own element and uh he'll give spice and character to uh characters that i feel like otherwise wouldn't be too interesting um i just i just love seeing him on screen i just love seeing him do his thing and uh edward norton everybody knows he's top of the line kate hudson too she's stellar she's she, she looks amazing for I was telling my girl, she's like, she's got like three kids or something. And she's like mm-hmm. walking across the screen, trying her stuff. Like, blew my mind. 
And uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to end it there. Uh, definitely check it out. Highly